believe them. <laughs> You're off your rocker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, eat. There's a train! Peter! Just don't stop! You alright? Get back here! Come on, this way. Come on, this way. See you. Come on. There. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Are you lost, old man? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him, then. Sam, what are you doing? That thing's radioactive. Get back. Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door. Gotcha! No. I don't believe it. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crust sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, 
Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads, obviously. You need a new toothbrush anyway, and your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how comes I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horseshoe. Will I have horseshoe hair when I'm older? Okay, all set. Phone, Dad. Phone. Right, give it a buzz for me, Mo. Calling. Let's rock and roll. Let me check the post. The last one downstairs is a rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip, rotten or otherwise. Just bills and some posts for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, it's the same surname and initial. Come on, let's drop it off for him. OK. So, chicken dippers for dinner. How about a nice Caesar salad instead? Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Hello, Jack. Oh, hey. Got your post again. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Mm, they are a bit. They're so tight, doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any post for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, oh, yeah, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Oh, thanks. You messed up, Jack. Anyway... Um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. That guy doesn't have his head screwed on properly. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Now 
that's what I like to hear. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Charlie is my friend. Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. Where would I be without advice like that? You were joking about salad for dinner, right? You can't eat that junk forever. You'll get fat like me. And then I'll get into trouble. What about chips? Potatoes is a vegetable. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubber chute. Right, see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Dad. Hello again. Small world. Yep. This your normal commute? Sorry, mate, what with that? Oh, I was just asking where you were. Yeah, I work. Sorry, yeah, I, I work by Salt Cellar Lane. Okay. Sorry. Being rude. Don't worry. See you around. Expensive stuff. Are you guys all right? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? You gonna help here, Jack? Get away from my stuff, thief. I'm just trying to help. Give me your arm. You too. Hang on, were we just... Sorry, mate. I've got to go. Right.
What time do you call this? Sorry, I um got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Go on. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Captain Spock. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Nice work. Has he texted you since? Oh, John. Bless. No one texts back that quick. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? I thought you were telling me about Darren. I'll fill you in on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. It's at that expensive cocktail bar, right? Nah, I think I'll pass. Oh well, you will be missed. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. Is he serious? Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. Sake. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. The printer doesn't work. Again. Thanks. Did you say you would like to change your account details? The printer doesn't work. I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally. We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. Uh, I didn't see an email from you. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate.
You forgot dinner, didn't you? Look, I'm sorry, Ma. It's, it's been a really long day. I, I just forgot. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. That'll do. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Well, do you want me to get a childminder in future? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Yeah, just, just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. All right? You two, you two, you two were made for each other. Molly, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I overslept again. Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. Do you value all human life? Some more than others. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Depends on what I stand to gain. And to take the life of a loved one? What a provocative question. I think I could only answer that in the moment. Are you capable of suicide? I can envisage a scenario where that would be the best option. Yeah. What is your greatest fear? That this interview will never end. Are you afraid of answering questions? No, you can continue. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? What do you mean? We mean your life outside of work. 
your attachments, your family. It's not a problem. Even years. What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. Mina! M Mina Hughes! Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Zandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then, I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Uh, have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. Are you taking the lift too? Oh. No. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. See you've met Amy. Oh, yes. Promising recruit, that one. Yeah, put her in the mix and you'll get anyone talking just to get her to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast-tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast-tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Sir? Advanced Dynamics, your section. You don't mean I have to manage her? No. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. What's your interest in her? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir.
Come for a checkup, have you? <laughs> Very good. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. If all you've got is talk, I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Are you right, babe? Yeah, tired though. Long day. One that you can't wait to end. Oh, my babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. Anything I can help with? Could help me take out the recycling. Oh, how about a back rub instead? Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. I'll go say goodnight. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just reading. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? 500 metres is what I meant. Sorry, Mum's had a long day. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. OK, but I'd better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. OK?